Hey everybody, what's going on? Baro here, back inside of Borderlands 2, and today I've got some pretty interesting news for you all. And that is actually in two regards uh, a change that Gearbox has put out. Now this was recently brought to my attention, I haven't really paid attention to it. But, Gearbox decided that, hey, people like legendaries, right? They like that thing, they like, you know, killing stuff and actually getting loot from whatever it is they're fighting. Well... Something interesting has happened. And that uh, drop rates have been increased. Now, I don't know if we're actually going to get one inside of this video that I'm making here, but eh, who knows. But anyway, so from April 9th all the way up until May 13th, you're going to see increased legendary drop rates, both as a global source and from any sort of specific enemy as well. So, you know, if I go around farming Savage Lee or Doc Mercy, or if I go to the pre-sequel and fight Claplek or whoever it is I feel like farming, I'm gonna get an increased chance on those. And this is for PC, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, and PS4. Pretty much every single system is going to give you some increased drop rates. Now, I was messing around on stream uh, when I was when this first brought to my attention and found something interesting. I got back-to-back -back hide of Terramorphus during that stream. You're not going to drop me this, are you? You're going to be stingy as hell with this. I feel like he's going to be stingy with this. But yeah, I managed to get back-to-back -back hide of Terramorphus drops, which is... Honestly, absolutely insane getting that kind of a, you know, drop like that. For anyone who's farmed Terra can tell you, yo, hi to Terra. That can take a long ass time. But to get them back to back. Now, if I had to take a guess based off an educated guess as to what it feels like, uh, I spent a good portion of the day farming and obviously I can't give you an exact number, but it honestly feels pretty close to, I would say, almost 15% chance rather than the usual 3% for boss drops to end up happening, which is pretty awesome. I even managed to get one from uh, Saturn in a short amount of time. Savage Lee is going to continue to be salty as hell while I continue to make this video. I don't know if I'm going to keep this going until I end up getting a Herald, but that would probably lead to a very bad idea because whenever I commit until something drops, the game usually tells me, listen, I don't care if it's a 90% chance to drop. We're never going to drop, ever. But I've been getting a lot of messages on Twitter saying, yo, I got double bonus packages. I got all these drops that are happening all over the place, world drops. Everyone's you know, sending me things on Twitter. So I think it's safe to say that, well, drop rates are going to be increased. So, you know, if whether you are new or old to the Borderlands and you just want to go get some legendaries, go out, fight whatever the hell you want, and go get some sweet, sweet legendaries. This can probably be the last time that I farm him. Savage Lee! Do it. Drop the thing. I, I want you to drop the thing. See, that was close. That see, it's four thousand six hundred dollars. That's that's just like a herald. Anyway, go check out all the different bosses. See how long it takes you to get a legendary. And yeah, happy hunting. I want you to drop. You know what? One more. One more. I'm not ending the video just yet. We're doing this live, and we're gonna get a herald. We're not. We're not actually going to get a Herald. I got one on like two tries when I did this live stream, but now I'm making this video and he's not going to drop it. Here, you know what it is? I figured it out. It's the, it's the, it's the color. It's the color. There we go. And I'm not using a barrel technical. Now we've got it. Now we're, now we're styling. We got Iridium and everything. Maybe I should have made myself the, the legendary color instead. Maybe if I had Lilith. If I had the Lilith skin, that would have done it. I don't even know anymore, man. But yeah. Also, I want to apologize for missing some days in videos. I mean, by this rate, I should be done with the Legendary Guide sometime between now and 2020. But uh, yeah, don't worry. Those, 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 I'm, I'm working on them, okay? Listen. Listen. It's fine. They'll totally be here. Sooner. Maybe. Hopefully. Anyway. Man, my aim is somewhere today. All right, so as you can see, he totally dropped a herald. Uh, boom. 
Look at that. That's a herald. That's what it would look like if the herald actually dropped. There it is. Anyway, drop rates are increased. Make sure you go out and go get it. There's going to be a link in the description as to uh, this whole event thing. I kind of wish they would push this on Twitter and not hide it on the forums. Cough. Social media. Cough. Cough. And I need to get that, that cough checked out. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all had a, are having a fantastic day. And hey, don't forget to subscribe for future content. I'm sure there'll be some more actual content soonishly at some point between now and uh, Half-Life 3. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.